Now this successful day that you're all witnessing has come on the wake of Ahri IVI inking an MOU in May 2021, that's about a year ago, so as to develop and implement collaboration programs between the two parties on specific topics of mutual interest in the areas of research and development and capacity building of vaccines for global health. Thus, this collaboration center that we are launching here today has a mission of partnering for vaccine in research and development, capacity building, so as to improve global health in Ethiopia and beyond. Now, when we zoom in to who these collaborators are, in a nutshell, IVI, or the International Vaccine Institute, is a non-profit intergovernmental organization established in 1997 at the initiative of the United Nations Development Program, or rather UNDP, is headquartered at Seoul in Korea or South Korea. And of course, its primary mandate is to make vaccines available and accessible for the world's most vulnerable people. Whilst on the other hand, for the institute that I work for and love, uh, Ahri, was founded in 1970 through the initiative of the Norwegian Save the Children, as well as the Sweden Save the Children, and was seconded later on by the Ministry of Health. That is in 2016. Our institute is mandated for biomed biomedical and clinical research for improvement of medical care, health and well-being of Ethiopian public by generating and delivering scientific evidences. Now, we are all gathered here to observe an official opening ceremony of, Afri of AHRI and IVI collaboration sector but of course, this has come a long way. So in recognition of this collaboration between AHRI and IVI, which is to foster future uh, collaboration uh, programs for global health, uh, this collaborative center, or this day, we are gathered here to simply cement on the foundation already laid years ago. They have been collaborating for sev several years, I would say, cement this relationship and solidify it. So, quite recently, through this collaboration, I was actually physically present in Sheshamani, where about a week ago, uh, OCV Cholera Max vaccination was underway at Sheshamani town and Wareda. This project uh, benefited a hundred vulnerable residents of the area who are uh, exposed to cholera. So, on behalf of my beloved institute, I would like to thank all partners who are here with us today who have contributed their efforts to this day. So, I would like to take this moment to welcome Dr. Shalo, who is representing uh, Professor Alpha Work, our Director General, who couldn't be here with us today. Dr. Shalo. State Minister of Health, His Excellency <coughs> Kim Kang, I mean, Ambassador of Republic of South Korea to Ethiopia, his Excellency Tasfait Haddese, representing the uh, Ethiopian Government of Minister of Foreign Affairs. Dr. Kim, Director General of International Vaccine Institute. Mr. Young, LG Country uh, Manager, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored and privileged to represent Professor Afor Kasu, Director General of ARI, to welcome you all to this historical and uh, important official opening of RIVI Collaboration Center. Arman Hansen Research Institute was founded in 1917 through the initiative of Norwegian and the South Se uh, Sudan Safe Children Organization in collaboration with the Ethiopian Minister of Health. The, the institute was re-established in 2016 by the Council of Ministers as one of the agency under the Federal Minister of Health. ARI is a biomedical and a clinical research institute with its core mission to improve medical care, health, and the well-being of the public through generating and delivering scientific evidence and developing new tools and the methods. It is also mandated to serve as a hub for supporting health innovation projects, technology transfer, and the capacity building in medical research and training. The Institute has an excellent track record 
of working with national and international collaboration collaborators and the partners in reviewed grant research project clinical capacity building activities and in training of postgraduate students the number of postgraduate students is supported by ahri and uh, scientific paper published or international journals has been increasing over time currently ahri has provided postgraduate students for 59 phd and 15 master students who are coming from 24 universities across different corners of the country where uh, and uh, the number of uh, published scientific paper on international journal was also reached 75 74 in 2022 similarly the number of health innovation projects supported by ahri through the grand challenge ethiopia initiative has increasing over time and uh, currently 44 54 health innovation projects selected from different universities are supported the sustainable partnership over more than 15 years of ahari with sida and the norad can be cited an excellent track record of ahari working with international partner as a result of this good partnership ahari received core funding support for it is research activities from SIDA and the NORAD for postgraduate research where the government of Ethiopia has also given a privilege of tax-free related to this grant. Beside, AHARI is also known with hunting for international research proposal called grant and secured most of its research fund on competing based. Currently, following the government reform, AHARI has also given an additional mandate to carry out research and development on vaccines and uh, pharmaceuticals. In this case, the AHARI IVI collaboration came at the right time when AHARI and the country in general went to support in developing uh, vaccinology science and the plan to produce vaccine in the country. Given IVI core mission of dedicating to vaccines and the vaccination for global health, with its rich experience and the wide international network makes IVI an ideal partner for Hari to transfer technology, particularly related to vaccinology science and related to vaccine production in the country. Moreover, exchanging of staffs, academic, educational, scientific and scholar material between Hari and IVI is also an instrumental for technology transfer and experience sharing that will definitely improve the capacity of both institutes to attain their respective institutional mission. Taking into consideration Ahari's excellent track record of partnership with international organization, I can assure you that Ahari will exert all its effort to make this collaboration center productive. On behalf of Ahari and uh, Professor Afor Kasu, Ahari Director General, I have to use this opportunity to call upon IVI and uh, Ahari scientists to use this opportunity for expanded effort to resource mobilization, joint grant applications, capacity building and promoting vaccine science in Ethiopia and beyond. Similarly, I also call upon our Korean friends such as LG and others to continue supporting and invest on vaccinology initiative which actually make a difference in pushing global agenda for better health finally on behalf of ahri and the professor of work i extend my appreciation and the thanks to ivi cck lge for realizing the establishment of this collaboration center and for the support for more than 100 people to get oral cholera vaccine in ethiopia shashamane under ccp project thank you very much. Maybe I, sim I just briefly uh, say in Amharic. Ye takabru Dr. Drajir Guma, ye tena ye tena Minister, Mr. State Minister. Ye takabru Mr. Kang, Ambassador ye ye South Korea Ambassador by Ethiopia. Ato tasfai tadese. Asia affairs, which good minister, 
Dr. Kim, Director General, International Vaccine Institute, Mr. Young, LG Country Director, Yetakabarachu, Kubran Nakubrat. Zaring Dizi, Yetagananyano, Batale, Kazibefit, Buzus Rauchim, Abrosi Saran, the Neberek, Dem Yonatan Sigalalis Neber, True Partner, Menalbatim, Ahari, Addis Bersato Taliko, like Kafetania Gazali Adergem Michel, Experience Liastala Lifi Michel, IVI International IVI Wayne International Vaccine Vaccine Institute Gar, Zare Bagara Lamasrat, Simminet, Kamat Bafitin Bifaram, Zare Officially is soon launch La Madrag Nozeta Ganyanuna, Menalbat Ahari in the Metawako. But I'm a Zihagar, a Baidime, a Tilikan student of Marathi Chalan, a Kamsa Amat Balai, a Norwegian, a Naka Sweden, a Midderago Digaf, a Sidana, a Norad, a Digaf Abro Sisarana Ber, a Menalbat Ingidi, a Katosene, Katosene Gzebohala, with a Mangistim Sitalalef, Ya Yenebero Partnership, Rusra Abro Sarusalana Bere. Betelay, eh, Ahari, Yahari Scientist Touch, the international collaboration, through Lindia Lachona, the Miser Yemisarutan Sra, with Etama Bamohonu, a partnership, Zelko, Skazaradres, Core uh, Budget Digaf, Kanazi Organization, Yaganian Noyalano, Menalbat Mahuningedi, Ahari, Baadis uh, Indagana Sikwakwam, Betelay Zendro, Addis Telekot Satutan. Addis Teleco, as if it can miss her out, but Hacha Mari, Babaxinina, Bafarmaceutical Lai, Sra and Disara Research Mihun, Vaccinin, Develop a Madregna, Bahagar Ustem in the Belezig, Teleco Satutan, Ehe Teleco, Menalbat, with Etama Yemiader, Gizare event, Yan with Etama Yemiader Gnomalti Chalan, Mekanatum, Ye International Vaccine Institute, Belimd, Batam Telic Limdiallo. By international, we in by alam akaf deraja vaccine la yemisara. By mahono, kaza ahari limdunim yagenyan technology nim la ahari yastala lefan. Ahari bicham ahari bicham akabel sayon ahari ga yallom limd institutum yagenyan. Silazi kallo kazi bafit kallo limd inter ka international partnership tru lim dallo tru record dallo ahari yan record ahunim by master back tru. Eh, yet Zare Yetajemaro, Wenim Zare Yekafatano, Ye Collaboration Center, with Etama in the Mion, Menem Tretre Lenim, Bamacha Russia, Ehenen Event, in the Saka, Ladraga Chut, Batele, the IVI, the LG, and Nale Luchim Parteroch, a Kafetania, Mizgana, and Yakarab, Ari. Maninyaunim digaf ihe center with it a mandihon in the Miadark a professor of work a casu bamatakat ihe nin zila megles wadaloy amasaganaloy. I hope you're all having a lovely morning. I would like to take this time to invite uh, Dr. Siyun who will uh, briefly introduce us to the IVI team virtually. So, um your Excellencies and distinguished guests, good morning. We are very pleased to officially open this ARI IVI Collaborating Center today. So before we invite Dr. Jerome Kim from IVI, I'd like to um, introduce briefly the participants from IVI and Korea. So here on site at this beautiful ARI compound, we have um, Ambassador, um, His Excellency Kang Seok Ki, uh, Ambassador of the Republic of Korea to Ethiopia, thank you for joining us here uh, in person. Um, and also Mr. Sing Hwan Yang, um, LG uh, Ethiopia Office Representative here with us. Um, and we also have uh, Dr. Jerome Kim, IVI Director General, Professor um, Sang Chul Park, President of the IVI Korea Support Committee, Dr. Tori Godel, um, Special Advisor on Global Health, at the Ministry of Health and Care Services in Norway, Dr. John D. Clemens, Senior Scientific Advisor of IVI, Dr. Anne Wartel, Deputy Director General of IVI, and also many IVI colleagues, including the IVI Global Affairs and Communications Department, joining um, through Zoom Live, uh, connected from Seoul, South Korea. 
So um, I'd like to then give the floor back to Jonathan um, for introducing Dr. Jerome Kim. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Siyun. Uh, it gives me the greatest pleasure to share a, a, a brief profile of, the, of Dr. Jerome Kim, who is the Director General of IVI. So Dr. Jerome is a medical doctor by training and a colonel in the United States Army Medical Corps. Dr. Kim is a recognized leader in HIV research and HIV vaccine development. He was the principal deputy and chief of the Laboratory of Molecular Vi Virology and Pathogenesis at the US Military HIV Research Program. As the Director General of IVI, Dr. Kim was awarded the Korean Medal of Honor by the Ministry of Health and Welfare of the Republic of Korea in April 2022 for his leadership of IVI and contributions to the Korean health sector and global public health. He is also a visiting distinguished professor at the Seoul National University. Here are his remarks. Thank you for your opening words, Professor Kisa. I wish I could be there in person to join the official launch of the ARI IBI Collaborating Center, but it is my pleasure to be able to welcome you all virtually to this exciting event. I'm grateful to our partners at ARI who helped make this occasion possible. Professor Giza, Dr. McConan, and our moderator, Mr. Ekiwe, as well as our esteemed guests joining us today to celebrate a meaningful step forward for IVI and ARI's partnership and our shared scientific ambitions in Ethiopia and beyond. Thank you to Dr. Tori Kolo, the Ethiopian Ministry of Health, Professor Sung Cho Park, Mr. Sun Quan Wang, Wang, His Excellency Kang So Ki, and His Excellency Bung Wa Li for offering their congratulations today as well as to my colleagues at IBI, Dr. John Clemens, Dr. Ann Motel, Dr. Sayed Park, who have led the important research and development efforts at the core of our partnership. The RE IBI Collaborating Center is now the third of its kind, following the successful launch of Collaborating Center in Ghana and Madagascar last year. This momentum has been growing at the Collaborating Centers in the countries and regions that host IBI's work is a testament to a long and fruitful history of close, effective, and sustainable cooperation with our research partners. These collaborating centers embody IVI's mission not only to advance the science of vaccines and their widespread availability, but our equally important commitment to build capacity and sustainable development everywhere in the world. The RE IVI Collaborating Center will be a dedicated site to foster collaborative research and development activities, many of which are already underway between our two institutions, including disease surveillance, technology transfer, vaccinology training, vaccine research and clinical development, policy engagement, and effectiveness trials such as the large-scale OCB vaccination campaign that kicked off on May 11th. These OCB vaccinations are the culmination of a decades-long partnership across the public and private sectors with partners like ARI and illustrate the real-world impact of IVI's work before. Since its founding, IVI has been dedicated to bridging the gap between vaccines available to high-income countries and vaccines available in low-income countries. Of course, there is still much work to be done to expand vaccine coverage and achieve the global roadmap to ending cholera and other vaccine-preventable infectious diseases. And I look forward to seeing IVI's partnership with ARI flourish as we jointly aim for these goals. I hope also that this latest step in strengthening IVI's partnership with the government of Ethiopia may culminate in Ethiopia becoming a state party of IVI. We now have the privilege of calling 39 countries and the WHO member states of IVI, and we work closely with our global network to advance vaccines for a safer future for all. Thank you again for being here. Thank you. At this juncture, it's my greatest pleasure to invite His Excellency Dr. Dereji Daguma, State Minister of Health, for his remarks. Good morning to all of you. His Excellency Ambassador Kang, Ambassador of South Korea in Ethiopia, Minister of Foreign, uh, representative from Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia, Dr. Kim, IVI Director, Mrs. Young, LG Company Country Manager, Dr. Shalot Aba, Ahari Representative, and uh, also learners that there are many who joined us uh, virtually. Thank you for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, it's, um, it's really an honor to stand, you here, to stand before you here to participate on the Ahari IVI Collaborative Center, which really came at very important and the needed time during this COVID and the many other emergency uh, time. 
I would like to say you welcome to this important and historic event, and I would like to thank AVI for choosing Ethiopia and specifically Minister of Health and uh, Ahari to partner and to work with. Uh, so as we all know, the relation between Ethiopia and South Korea started long ago during the Korean War in 1950, and then after the both governments have worked together in different areas. We all know that our Prime Minister Abi last time visited uh, South Korea and also leadership of South Korea came to Ethiopia many times to strengthen the already laid partnership between these two big countries. Uh, we also know that there are a number of projects that really uh, supported our community in terms of development, trade and many social affairs. And also in the health sector, there, there have been a number of investments. Korea Hospital is one of the uh, witness for the investment from South Korea in Ethiopia. Our community and the government has really benefited from one of the most comprehensive specialized hospital service that have been given in the hospital for, for many years. Thank you very much for the support that have been provided to Ethiopia, to Ethiopia for, for, many, for many years. Uh, so, IBI partnership has already started in a number of projects with uh, AHARI, and I know that uh, IVI is one of uh, international non-profit organizations that work in different parts of uh, countries uh, in, in the globe. So this is a very good and an important partnership for Ethiopia. We want to learn from IVI, we want to collaborate with IVI, uh, and AHARI is the best and the perfect place to, to partner with. So uh, IVI has chosen one of the most um, respected in a long time institute in Ethiopia, Ahari, and I'm sure your investment and your partnership with, with uh, Ahari will uh, bring many, many successes in the Ethiopian health sector. Uh, so uh, I want to say that previously there have been a number of uh, uh, support that have been provided to Ahari. Our researchers, our scientists have uh, got many trainings through IVI, and that is one of the most important uh, capacity building uh, activities and it should be strengthened and, and it should continue. Minister of Health will also uh, say thank for uh, the training that have been provided to our scientists. And uh, as we all know, now we are a number of challenges. COVID is not still it's around. Um, we, 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 we don't know what will come uh, after a couple of months or even uh, weeks because in many parts of uh, the globe, the number of cases are uh, still increasing. And we know that there are many infectious diseases that are really emerging and re-emerging. So the support uh, from IVI in infectious diseases, in COVID, and in many other areas is quite very, very important. So one of the most uh, proven intervention in halting and ta in, in tackling uh, epidemics is by, by vaccinating our community. So the work that have been done by IVI in uh, accessing vaccines to impoverished community around the globe is quite very important. We, we commend that uh, vaccine equity is still a challenge and uh, um, partners will work on that. So in Ethiopia, we also have uh, challenges in vaccine equity. So what have been done specifically for cholera last time around Shashamani is a witness for what, for, uh, what IVI is doing. So thank you very much for uh, donating uh, vaccines to our communities, uh, especially in oral vaccine um, in terms of uh, cholera. That's a very important job and it should also continue in the future. Uh, and uh, I want also want to thank uh, what we have been working on uh, the typhoid fever, Ahrile typhoid uh, fever surveillance as part of the IVI, multi-country uh, typhoid surveillance in Africa is one of the common level job. So typhoid fever is also another important and significant problem, health problem in Ethiopia. That's very good and that should continue. And basically I know that IVI is working on Shigella uh, and also dengue fever, chikungunya and others. All these infectious diseases are common in Ethiopia, especially in the eastern part of Ethiopia. Uh, chikungunya and dengue fever are emerging uh, every year, every two years. So uh, supporting vaccination, uh, research and development is quite very important on this area. So uh, thank you for uh, supporting this important infectious disease areas and this partnership should, should, should get strengthened. 
as previously mentioned by Dr. Shallo, the government of Ethiopia has strengthened and restructured ARI this time. As you know, previously ARI, ARI focused on clinical and biomedical researches, and this time we have restructured ARI to include vaccine development, innovation, and also research and similar issues. So uh, these are important areas, and previously attention have not been given to these areas, and ARI is now uh, is working on this issue. So IVI came really at a very important time when we want to focus on research uh, development and uh, uh, market linkage. So your support is quite very important and you have, you, you have to continue and strengthen the relationship between uh, IVI and um, AHARI. Uh, so finally, uh, going forward, we have to focus on uh, the following important areas. One of the areas is vaccine development. So not only for um, uh, cholera, but, but also other vaccine preventable diseases, we need your cooperation, including COVID and also many other infectious diseases. Uh, you know, Ethiopia in Ethiopia, more than 20% of our population uh, lives under poverty line. So we need to access those uh, impoverished community with vaccines. So the support of IVA is quite very important in this area, and I'm sure uh, you, will, you will support us. And also introducing new vaccines to Ethiopia is also another important area where the ministry wants to focus. Recently we have tried to introduce many vaccines. So far we have more than 12 vaccines, traditional and uh, new vaccines, but we, we want more vaccines to be introduced. So the support from IBI is quite very important on this uh, line. And also this time we are giving many vaccines and uh, we, want, we want to make sure that we are organization institutes that we have, not only in Ethiopia, but also in Africa. Many partners uh, do believe in Ahari uh, because they are one of the most effective and efficient organizations that we have in Ethiopia. And I, I, I'm truly uh, confident that investing and working with Ahari is worthy and an important uh, investment. So um, thank you very much for bringing uh, this collaborative center to Ethiopia. And uh, working in Ethiopia is not only working in Ethiopia, it's almost uh, it's working in Africa. Uh, I believe that the door to Africa is uh, through Ethiopia and research is an important part of that. And the Ministry of Health will support all the partnership. We are already um, following uh, the partnership that, that we, you have with uh, AHARI. We we'll all will support um, what have been done so far and uh, uh, we are, all, we, we are uh, in touch with uh, um, Ahari and also IVA and other partners so that we, we progress in terms of vaccine in, in Ethiopia. Uh, I also want to thank LG for, um, for supporting in a number of areas and also the government of South Korea to invest in Ethiopia and to become one of the reliable, reliable country and partner who supported Ethiopia during many challenging times. Ethiopia is passing through many challenges and uh, from the many countries, South Africa, sorry, South Korea is one of the most reliable partners we have, and I'm sure this uh, partnership will continue in the future. And thank you very much, Ambassador, for coming here and also for reaching to us uh, whenever we need you. Thank you very much. I want to thank Ahari, uh, Professor Afork, and all his team uh, for uh, working relentlessly with uh, uh, IVI and also with many other partners and for uh, bringing many funds and expertise to, to the nation. And I'm sure uh, you will excel in research, innovation, and in many other areas, not only in Ethiopia, but also in Africa. Thank you very much. And uh, I want to thank all our uh, partners, IVI, LG, uh, staffs from uh, AHARI, and also our brother from Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the people who joined us uh, virtually. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Dereje Daguma. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to also welcome His Excellency uh, Kang suk -hee, Ambassador of the Republic of Korea, for his congratulatory remarks. Good morning. Um, I am pleased to be here with you to celebrate opening, opening of the AHARI IBI Collaboration Center. I hope that this collaboration center will further 
I hope this collaboration center will further strengthen the ongoing research partnership between the two institutes and make a progress toward their common vision, a world free of suffering from infectious diseases. Indeed, I have a personal affection for the IBI. Uh, IBI is the first international organization hosted by Korea. Uh, when I was a junior foreign service officer 20 years ago, I was in charge of the IBI in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, at that time, um, the IBI was not uh, internationally recognized with only a few donors because uh, it's uh, in its very early stages. So my job was to uh, mobilize financial resources for the IBI. Uh, I worked together with uh, Dr. John Clements, uh, the first uh, director of the IBI. We traveled to Geneva to explain the vision and program of the IBI to the WHO member states. So today, I am very happy to see the delegation of the IBI, which has grown up to play an active role in vaccine research. As I grew up to become an ambassador from a junior diplomat of the last 20 years. So to me, um, this ceremony uh, looks like that uh, I met with uh, an old friend from Korea here in Addis Ababa. Um, in my view, the ongoing global pandemic uh, of the COVID-19 taught us the two uh, important lessons. Uh, one is uh, vaccine research on infectious disease should be encouraged. The other one is that the international community must work together to ensure swift and effective response to emerging infectious disease. So in this context, the collaboration collaboration between AHARI and IBI is timely and relevant uh, for the world where we are now. Uh, when it comes to a global pandemic, nobody is safe until everyone is safe. I am confident that the research cooperation between an institute in Korea and an institute in Ethiopia will make the world safer than now in the near future. Thank you, Amasa Gnarlu. Now, I also would like to take this time to welcome Mr. Tesfai, who is the Director for Asian Pacific Countries under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Good morning, uh, uh, everybody, those who are uh, physically here and virtually. Uh, uh, my name is Tesfai from the Minister of Foreign Affairs, in charge of uh, uh, Southeast Asia and the Pacific countries under the uh, Middle East and uh, Asian Pacific DG. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I would like just to give few remarks, and most of the things have been said by uh, my predecessors. Uh, and I would, I would say something to the, to the participants and uh, invited guests. Uh, Your uh, Excellency, uh, uh, Dr. Daje Dukuma, State Minister of Health. Uh, Your Excellency, Mr. Kang, Ambassador of the Republic of Korea to the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Uh, distinguished uh, Country Director of uh, LGE. Uh, Director of AHIRI uh, and the IVI. Invited guests, physically and virtually, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to, uh, and privilege uh, for uh, me to address the official inauguration of the uh, AHIRI, uh, IVI, uh, Collaboration Center today uh, uh, at the premise of AHIRI. I would like to see this opportunity uh, to extend my gratitude and uh, congratulatory remarks to the Embassy of the Republic of Korea in Addis, AHIRI, IVI, and other partners for the collaborative efforts to establish 
the IHERI IVI Center, which is believed to impact evidence-based health policy decisions and capacity building in health research and vaccine development in Ethiopia. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Ethiopia and the Republic of Korea had been enjoying a long standing diplomatic relations. The relations of the two brotherly countries trace back uh, to uh, before the commencement of their diplomatic relations on the 23rd December 1963. This was demonstrated in blood bonded relations when Ethiopia sent its troops to South Korea and joined hands with Korean compatriots during the Korean War in 1950. Ethiopia and South Korea have been enjoying good relations of cooperation and friendship in multifaceted sectors past and present. In this regard, high-level incoming and outgoing visits have been made to uh, Seoul and Addis. Recently, in collaboration with the Minister of Finance of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and the Korean Embassy in Addis, and in the presence of stakeholders, representatives from both, the two countries held their uh, first uh, candid development cooperation policy consultation meeting in Addis on the 21st April 2022. In 2022, the Republic of Korea is carrying out more than 40 development cooperation projects in Ethiopia with about 100 million US dollars with focus to transport and energy, rural development, health, sanitation, and education sectors. The Republic of Korea was also among the few countries that donated the COVID-19 vaccines to the people of Ethiopia through COVAX and bilaterally during COVID pandemics. Thus, Ethiopia values and appreciates very much for the support we have received on this and other development programs from the Republic of Korea. Today, we are gathered to inaugurate the establishment of AHIRI IVI Collaboration Center at AHIRI in Addis Ababa. This is part of the development programs the Korean government is currently undertaking in the health sector in 2022. The Ethiopian government believes that such development initiatives of partner countries would benefit a lot the Ethiopian public institutions to address their gaps. The IHI IBI Collaboration Center is one showcase for continued Ethiopia development cooperation and is expected to bring impact in technology transfer and capacity building in medical research and training in the health sector. Thus, the Ethiopian government is grateful for the efforts made by all partners, including the Republic of Korea, for establishing IHERI IVI Collaboration Center and look forward to see its implementation, operationalization, and impact as planned. Ethiopia believes that it is high time for the two countries to strengthen their solidarity and partnership that generate action at a time of post-COVID recovery for more equitable, inclusive, and sustainable economy and society that is more resilient in the face of the pandemics, climate change, and other domestic and dynamic global challenges we have at hand. Therefore, we need the utmost continued support of the Republic of Korea to overcome the challenges bilaterally. In realizing our 10-year perspective plan through increasing the ODA and technical cooperation and expanding quality FDI, mainly on our priority sectors and demand-driven technology transfer, broad market opportunities for Ethiopian export products, tourism, etc. Moreover, cognizant to the historic blood cemented people-to-people -people relation of the two countries, we also believe that the collaboration of the two countries should further be manifested in international fora. In conclusion, I wish 
you all a wonderful inauguration ceremony and a successful Haihiri IVI project implementation that everybody gathered at this ceremony and beyond at the end would see its fruit. Thank you. Up next is Mr. Yang from uh, a product that I actually really love from LG. So, Mr. Yang. Thank you for uh, lobbying our products. <laughs> and your Excellency, Mr. Kang Seok Ki, uh, Ambassador of the Republic Korea to Ethiopia. Your Excellency, Mr. Derije Digma, State Minister of Ministry of Health. Your Excellency, Professor Apewel Kass, Director General of AHRI. Your Excellency, Mr. Jerome Kim, Director General of IVI. Your Excellency, Professor Sang Chol Park, Chairman of IVI Korean Support Committee. Your Excellency, Mr. Masei Hairu, Director General of EPHI. Your Excellency, Mr. Seum Bak, IVI personal in charge of this project. All distinguished guests, IVI and AHRI have been collecting in the area of vaccine. Research and training start from 2015. It has been known LG has been the prime partner of the development and the distribution of the vaccine in Ethiopia by IVI and AHRI since 2015. I want to take this opportunity also to congratulate all the partners involved for successful cholera vaccine campaign held from Shashamani town of Oromia region. International collaboration in the area of health has always benefited the community in the ground with technological advanced laboratory facilities. Combined with ample local knowledge obtained based on research done by AHRI, the local governments will benefit from both efforts in solving epidemic that are costing lives. Moreover, the research results will guide the policy of the governments in providing priority health services to the members of the society. Major global findings has their so social, uh, sources in the local research for which IVI and AHRI will have the opportunity to come up with a solution that can save lives and support the governments in policy design. LG corporate social responsibility has been uh, involved in supporting the various sectors in Ethiopia. As this collaboration produced the significant result to the government and the people of Ethiopia, LG will support the ongoing and future researching undertaking of the center. Congratulations on such a historic establishment of a collaborative center, and I wish your fruitful and successful accomplishment of the object of the Collaborate Center. Thank you very much. Of pre-recordings, uh, we will start off with Professor Park. Before the video, a bit about uh, Professor Park. Professor Park is the fifth president of the Korean Support Committee for IVI and a distinguished chair professor at Chonam National University. He has also served as a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology in Seoul National University Medical School for almost over three decades, that's 33 years. Let's listen in to his pre-recording. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Sang Chol Ba. I'm the uh, president of the Korea Support Committee for IVI. On behalf of the Korean uh, Support Committee for IVI, it is great pleasure to congratulate the official opening 
of the AHRI IBI Collaborating Center. The Korea Support Committee for IBI KSC was established in 1998 to support the development of the Institute as the first international organization hosted by Korea. Since, the, since then, the KSC has been supporting numerous projects on vaccine research worldwide. Currently, KSC is supporting the Ethiopia Cholera Control and Prevention ECCP project that is spearheaded jointly by IBI and AHRI. KSC support for the ECCP project show the close ties the, between the people of Korea and Ethiopia. As KSC is operating with uh, numerous contributions and support from individuals and private sectors in Korea. The establish, establishment of the AHRI IBI collaborative center will enable the Ethiopian government and IBI to further strengthen global health research collaboration and vaccine R&D in Ethiopia in order to help improve the health of people in Ethiopia and around the world. Once again, I congratulate the inauguration of the AHRI IBI Collaborative Center and look forward to our continued robust partnership between Ethiopia and IBI. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Up next, it gives me the greatest pleasure, actually, because it hits closer to home uh, to introduce uh, Dr. Tori Godal, who is a special, currently the Special Advisor on Global Health to the Norwegian Ministry of Health and Care Services. Dr. Tori has served as the founding CEO of Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, and is currently also an advisor of the Coalition, of, Coalition for Endemic Epidemic Preparedness Innovation at CEPI, which he helped create. He was also the winner of the 2019 Norwegian King's Medal of Merit Award and a co-winner of the 1999 Prince Mahidel Award. Through this award, I might say, uh, as Ahri, we celebrate uh, Tore Godal Award and upcoming one month we'll have the Tore Godal Award. So through this, through the money, that or the proceeds that he got through this award, we live on this legacy by having an award of our own. So Dr. Godal was also, as I said, this close, this hits close at home because he was a director at Ahri uh, throughout the period of 1970 to 1973. <laughs> Let's listen it to his pre-recording. Uh, this is the Tule Google from uh, Norway. Uh, I am currently working as a special advisor to on global health at the Ministry of Health and Care Services. Uh, dear Hoppe Kassel, new CEO of the Alma Hansen Institute, and Professor Jerome Kim, CEO of the International Vaccine Institute in Seoul, uh, dear colleagues and friends. Uh, I think it is a, a great uh, 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 occasion to, to, of establishing this collaborating uh, uh, partnership between uh, the IBI and ARI. I had personally the privilege of visiting Seoul uh, three weeks ago uh, uh, when I received the uh, prestigious Park Mon Hoon Prize together with Professor Weissman and Kariko, uh, who as you know, developed the mRNA 
healthcare vaccine. <coughs> I had on that opportunity to uh, uh, learn in quite detail about the uh, special qualities of the International Vaccine Institute, uh, which has taken great steps forward during the excellent leadership of uh, <coughs> Professor Jerome Kim. I think this partnership has a, a great potential because of the complementarity between the two institutions. You <coughs> are uh, uh, in different uh, regions, so IDI in Asia, and have in particular focused on Asia, and Armand Hansen Institute uh, focused particularly on Ethiopia and Africa. Uh, you have uh, things in common, like striving for high quality science in whatever area you work, uh, but the complementarity, I think, to me is quite striking in the sense that uh, the Arnold Hansen Research Institute has, as I know it from uh, more than 50 years, its strengths have been particularly on laboratory sciences and towards most basic uh, research. IVI, on the other hand, has its strength in uh, field sciences, uh, in epidemiology and uh, clinical trials, and also, more recently, in product development and in uh, uh, close collaboration with the private sector, in particular SK Bioscience. So, <clears throat> with the ambitions of Ali moving in the direction in which IVI has particular strength, I think this collaboration has a, a, a great uh, potential uh, to be uh, successful. I also think that uh, uh, as leadership means a lot, I think uh, uh, that uh, uh, Professor <coughs> Offerberg comes to the leadership of Ari with extraordinary qualifications, uh, both from science as well as from public service in various departments. And Jerome Kim, with his uh, uh, extensive background from research in uh, the United States, have transformed IVI in a very, very positive and exciting way. So, uh, the, your leadership, gentlemen, I think that uh, this partnership is, uh, has a great potential for becoming a great success and to advance the health of uh, and the privileged people, both in Asia as well as on the African continent. So I wish you all the best for uh, this uh, extraordinary collaboration. Thank you very much. Greetings from Oslo. As per the schedule, we had slotted this for the Director General from EPHI, who sadly couldn't be here with us, but has passed his congratulatory remarks. After which now, I will give a profile of the John D. Clements, who of late we had shared an email. So it, it gives me a pleasure to also introduce him. Dr. John is a senior scientific advisor to the Director General of IVI. Dr. Clements served as the first Director General, Director General of IVI. Under his leadership, the partnership between AHRI and IVI picked up. 
and IVI coordinated a public-private partnership that led to the development of the world's first low-cost OCV, that is oral cholera vaccine. Professor Clemens has also served as the executive director of ICDDRB. He has also been a long-term advisor to the WHO and is the director of the WHO Collaboration Center for Clinical Evaluation of Vaccines in Developing Countries. He has received the prestigious Prince Mahidil Award in Public Health in 2018, together with Dr. Jan, for his 30 years of work that has culminated in the development of the OCV. Let's listen in to his pre-recordings. Hello, my name is John Clemens, uh, and I'm a senior scientific advisor to the Director General of IVI. I would like to congratulate uh, Ari and IBI and their director generals on the establishment of this very important collaborating center. Uh, I know both institutions extremely well. Uh, when I was director general of the IBI years ago, um, uh, working with uh, Dr. Abraham Asefa, we established a collaboration on cholera vaccines uh, with Ari uh, in Ethiopia. And I'm delighted to say that Ethiopia is now one of the three top countries in the world using oral cholera vaccines from the global cholera vaccine stockpile. And more recently, as executive director of the ICDRB, um, I had the good luck of being able to uh, help establish a, uh, another important collaboration um, uh, with uh, Ari and the ICDRB. Uh, this time, Dr. Mesereth and Dr. Chisti taking the lead on a very exciting project uh, evaluating bubble CPAP uh, to provide ventilatory support for children with severe uh, pneumonia in Ethiopia. And over the past several years, uh, I've been honored to serve on the RE Scientific Advisory uh, Board, which has given me uh, a wonderful uh, opportunity to understand uh, the breadth and great quality uh, of programs uh, at, at RE. So once again, I'd like to offer my congratulations on the establishment of this uh, important center. Um, uh, I. Uh, I tip my hat very much to Dr. Sayun Park uh, for helping catalyze uh, this collaboration on the IVI uh, side. And I'd like to uh, offer my uh, support wherever and whenever needed uh, to help bring this uh, collaborating center to fruition. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. John. We look forward to having you in this year's uh, sub-meeting, slated for June. Uh, up next, and last but not least, I would love to introduce Dr. Anne Wartel, who is the Deputy Director General for, of Clinical Assessment Regulatory Evaluation at IVI. Dr. Wartel is or has an extensive experience in the fields of clinical and epidemiological research within both academia and the pharmaceutical industry that spans over 15 years with and she joined IVI in 2018 as the head of clinical development and regulations or regulatory numerous vaccine numerous vaccine clinical development research initiatives are currently being executed under her leadership and under her under her scientific guidance as the deputy director general Good morning, Your Excellencies and distinguished guests. It is my honor to speak with you today as we commemorate the opening of the ARI IVI Collaborating Center. The center symbolizes and reinforces the long standing partnership between IVI, Ethiopia, and Ghana, a relationship that has benefited both Ethiopia and the world. Well the Ethiopian support for IVI goes back to the 1990s 
when Dr. B.C. Kapti of the Institute of Academic Sciences was the founding leader of IBI and served on the IBI Board of Trustees from 1995 to 1997. Between 2010 and 2013, IBI and ERI collaborated on the Fight with Fever study in Ethiopia as part of the multi country Death with Fever Surveillance in Africa program, followed by the Severe Death with Surveillance in Africa program between 2016 and 2018. Both programs confirm that the epidemic fever is a significant problem across Africa, and the results generated by these programs are informing the development of new immunization strategies for type and non type In 2015, IBI led consortium conducted one of the first mass vaccination campaigns using the IBI developed oral corona vaccine in this year. With the funding from Coronavirus Electronics and the coordination of the Ethiopian Ministry of Health, WHO, UNICEF, and ERI, this vaccination campaign demonstrated the great value of possible vaccination and facilitated the wider global use of corona vaccines. Currently, the Ethiopian Corona Control and Prevention Project, ECCP, is being executed and it is aimed at providing an IBI developed and WHO pre qualified oral corona vaccine to be provided to 100,000 residents in areas at risk of cholera. And further establishing a disease monitoring system to strengthen the local public health capabilities in Ethiopia between 2021 and 2023. In this regard, the establishment of the collaborating center between the two institutes is really timely and a positive step forward for strengthening our research partnership in the areas of vaccine research, including disease burden, vaccination and impact studies, evaluations. I hope the collaboration between ERI and IBI can further accelerate additional vaccine development, including clinical development, and enhance vaccine research through the clinical trials capacity expansion in Ethiopia. I'm really looking forward to conducting additional clinical studies in the Supreme Court of Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ann. I would like to welcome back uh, Dr. Siyun, but before that, I would like to mention that she is the ECCP Principal Investigator and the AHRI IVI Collaborating Center Initiative Lead at IVI. She is also an adjunct professor at Yonsei University Graduate School of Public Health. Welcome back. So, um, thank you, Jonathan. Your Excellencies and distinguished guests, um, it's a great honor to have you join us today once again as we officially open the ARI IVI Collaborating Center. Thank you very much, Dr. Shalo Daba, on behalf of Professor Apeo, Dr. Jerome Kim, and His Excellency Dr. Dereje Duguma for the warm welcome remarks. Thank you, His Excellency Ambassador Kang So Ki, for being here with us today in person to congratulate our Partnership for Global Public Health and launching of this RE IBI Collaborating Center. And also sharing your personal story and professional story and the bond with IBI today. Your presence is highly appreciated and we are very grateful to the government of the Republic of Korea for the continued and strong support towards our mission. Thank you, Mr. Sing Hwan Yang and Professor Sang Cho Park for your congratulatory remarks. Your generous support from LG Electronics and the Korea Support Committee for IBI to our ongoing ECCP project has truly enabled us to imagine the establishment of this collaborating center that has come to fruition today. Also extending many thanks to Dr. Tori Godel, Dr. John Clemens, and Dr. Arne Martel for their warm wishes. I hope this collaboration will bring more opportunities for health professionals and researchers in Ethiopia, Korea, and worldwide to follow their steps and legacy in vaccine research and development for improved global health. Many thanks also to Mr. Tesfaye Tadese from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and also Dr. Mese Halu for passing uh, the greetings and message and congratulations. Your support is invaluable and we are honored to receive your congratulatory words. 
Our vision of the ARI IBI Collaborating Center is Ethiopia and countries in the region free of suffering from infectious disease. Our mission is partnering for vaccine R&D and capacity building to improve global public health. ARI and IBI's joint research collaborations in the past decades include the Shankal OCB efficacy demonstration and typhoid fever surveillance research in Africa, including Ethiopia. So just recently, IBI and ARI successfully launched the first round of the mass OCB vaccination campaign for 100,000 people living in Shashamane. This is part of the ECCP project that supports the evidence-based public health policies in Ethiopia and work towards ending cholera, a global roadmap to 2030. Going forward, ARI IBI Collaborating Center aims to further host expanded joint research initiatives in the fields of vaccine clinical development, vaccine introduction and impact evaluation and beyond to become a center of excellence for vaccine R&D in Ethiopia and the region. So finally, echoing what His Excellency Dr. Dereje Duguma said today, I hope our collaborating center will further serve as a platform to facilitate the strengthening of local vaccine manufacturing facility and capacity and vaccine development in Ethiopia in order to better serve the people in need of protection against vaccine preventable infectious diseases. So thank you and I'm Kenalu. As we come to a close, it also gives me a great pleasure to welcome the Dr. Mukone, who is one of our own and the director at he's the clinical uh, trial directorate director and also the PI for the ECCP project. Dr. McConnell. Okay, good morning to all uh, my friends. So it's my pleasure today uh, just to witness in front of you because... Okay, sorry. So good morning to you all. It's my pleasure uh, just to speak before you uh, for the official opening of this collaborating center. I'm one of uh, those who actually served long and have been through all the years in the collaboration between IBI and uh, AHRI. So you may expect somehow a summary of those years of development. So I will try just to make it short, but I will summarize all those years. So I think uh, as one of the long serving uh, in the collaboration of all those important uh, uh, co collaborations, I think I have to mention two uh, major milestones in the, in the last 10 to 12 years. So during the 2010 to 2018, in collaboration with IBI, it was possible to generate evidence on burden of typhoid fever in Ethiopia as part of the African Consortium for Typhoid Studies, TSAP and CETA. And the results from these studies light evidence that our understanding to the diagnosis and clinical management of typhoid fever in Ethiopia was not supported by laboratory confirmation that obliged us to revisit our approach for its clinical diagnosis and management. And secondly, the oral cholera vaccine during the 2012, we already have just done in collaboration with IVI, the Shankol uh, bridging study, which is one of uh, the first controlled clinical trial in Africa and gives evidence of safety and efficacy that was actually generated elsewhere and bridge the evidence that can actually be used in African population in general. And now the Ethiopian Cholera Control and Prevention Project, ECCP, which uh, already kicked off in 2021, introduced the oral cholera vaccine using Uvicol Plus, which is manufactured by a Korean company, in mass vaccination and turned the cycle to intervention for evidence generation. This is the first of its type and a real-life demonstration of evidence generation by impact assessment through mass vaccination. Beyond its direct benefit to more than 100,000 vulnerable uh, population in Shashamani town in Warada, we believe the evidence that can be obtained from this impact assessment will definitely affect the policy direction in the National Cholera Control and Prevention Program. Today's official opening for the Collaborating Center is a renewal of commitment for long-term collaboration to leverage the experiences, resources, and networks from the two institutions. The Collaborating Center is a research and training site to advance vaccine for global health. 
Evidence generation for disease burden estimation is key to vaccine development and to the choice of vaccine strategies in the control and prevention of infectious disease. The science and experience in Ethiopia generally is limited. Given IBI's rich experience in vaccinology, in all terms, this collaborating setting can help to serve a plat as a platform for promotion of vaccine R&D, technology transfer, training and capacity building. IBI has a well-branded vaccinology course, hence this can be one area of collaboration to see its African chapter in Ethiopia very soon. AHARI, as a health research agency of the Ministry of Health, can actually draw more resources leading vaccine research and development and discharge its current expanded mandate in vaccine science. Therefore, I may call upon all stakeholders and partners to continue your support and use this opportunity for development of vaccines in Ethiopia and beyond. I also call upon my IBI colleagues and Korean friends to strengthen support and make the collaborating center center of excellence that uses AHARI as a hub for reaching others in the region. The coll this collaborating center for now will be hosted under the clinical trial directorate of AHARI. However, this doesn't mean that the scope of its operation will be limited to the clinical testing of vaccines. Therefore, I again call upon my AHARI colleagues to join hands and use the opportunity to make the collaborating center productive that can tap all possible resources for the benefit of our mandate and global health. I again reaffirming our commitment to make this a reality and I would like to acknowledge the pioneers, Dr. Abraham Sasafa, John Clemens and Florian Marcus, who laid the foundation of early collaborations with IBI. And I thank Dr. Sion Park, who took the initiative for strengthening the existing collaboration to a clinical, uh, I mean, a collaborating center. I also thank the AHARI and IBI management to make this a reality, and I am grateful to LG and the Korean support group, to IBI and other partners who are supporting us to reach the needy. Finally, I would like to re read a short remark from Dr. Abraham Asafa, former director of AHARI, who actually uh, began the relationship between AHARI and uh, IBI with John Clemens, who sent his message through email in reference to the official opening of today's event. So I quote, I am very pleased to learn of this initiative. It's wonderful to see hard work pay. You have established a center that can play a key role in an area of significant potential to save lives in Ethiopia and the region. The bridges, it bridges, the collaborating center bridges Asia with Africa using AHARI as a linker. I am sure it will grow because it is based on the partnership that has proven its words. Years of patient, consistency, diligence and determined work have now raised the partnership to a head, a new head. I hope the center will start will start well and hope we will see good of shots of product development from its well. Quote closed. Thank you. Thank you very much all attending and for your support. I'm Thank you, Dr. McConnell. Uh, a wise man once said, uh, don't quote me on this, nothing is ever official until there is cake. So I can see there is cake right next to us. So before we cut the cake, I would like all of you to stand, because this is, is uh, slightly significant to me. So at least we may stand and clap thrice. So let's warm up. Warm up again. Ah. Uh, yes. the, the number three is, is very significant, as I had said, because uh, this is the third center that's being built in Africa. That's uh, next to Ghana and Madagascar. And the number three is actually considered a perfect number. It's a number that symbolizes harmony, wisdom, and understanding. So through me, it's my hope that this center, which is the third center, will be led in harmony, wisdom, and understanding of these two parties. With that said, I would like to invite Dr. Dadaji Daguma and His Excellency, the Ambassador, and part of team members of the IBI to come here. <laughs> We 
we shall all proceed to the clinical director.